Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I finally have my summer lookbook up for you and I do realize that summer is almost over for some of us. So I have included some transitional pieces into this lookbook as well so that you can get the most out of your wardrobe and not have to waste pieces just because they're out of season. Speaking of making the most out of your wardrobe, I have unloaded a ton of new items to my Poshmark closet. So if you don't have Poshmark already, make sure you download the app. I will leave the link in the description box below and make sure you add me. My name is Jessica Hayes MUA, just like my Instagram name. So I have added quite a few things to my Poshmark app, some dresses, some harnesses, belts, uh, crochet kind of vintage looking pieces as well. The best thing about Poshmark is that it is so easy to list your products. Pretty much all you do is tap the sell button, post a few of your pictures, make a description, and it literally takes under a minute to post things to your Poshmark closet. Not only is it awesome for getting rid of stuff that you don't want, you also will be able to find a ton of stuff on this as well. And as we know, buying secondhand is a lot better for our environment as well. So there's also that bonus. Uh, I have actually found a ton of stuff on Poshmark before. Shoes, I just recently got a Vivian Westwood dress for an absolute steal on Poshmark too. If you have Poshmark as well, make sure you comment below your username so I can stalk you on Poshmark because if you're here at this channel, I'm sure we probably have a similar style and maybe I can buy some stuff from your closet. So enough talking from me, let's just jump right into the all black summer lookbook. This is something that I recently picked up from Nordstrom. This is the Topshop Washed Moto Jacket. I only have one faux leather jacket so far and I love how this one has that really kind of worn in look. Just like an old motorcycle jacket. It has these little buckles along the sleeves as well which I thought were really cool. So to me, I'm not trying to buy a ton of fake leather, especially stuff like PVC because obviously plastic is bad for the environment as well, but I knew that this was going to be a piece that I would have forever because it is that classic looking motorcycle jacket. So I did think about this one for quite a while before I just jumped right into it, uh, but then it ended up going on sale. So I'm really glad that I bought this and this is a really good piece to transition all of your summer looks into a fall look, a leather jacket. 
faux leather jacket. So another uh, transitional kind of piece that I had also been stalking for a really, really long time is this Norma Kamali trench jacket. It's like an 80s flared oversized jacket, a luxury buy for me, um, but this is definitely another thing that I just know that I will have for a really long time. Recently I've stopped buying a lot of fast fashion and trying to invest to buying pieces that I know that I'm going to have for a really long time. If I do end up getting over it in a few years, uh, this would be something that would have a good resale value as well. This little mini kind of fit and flare dress I picked up a few years ago from Wasteland when I was in California. It's rayon so it's that really easy to wear kind of fabric. Um, I just realized that it is dry clean only but I have been washing and wearing this one quite a lot. I really like this dress. This is like a classic vintage piece. It's a really good length on me. I don't like anything too short. Um, I'm in my 30s. I don't want my butt hanging out of my dresses anymore. Not that I've ever really done that kind of look. But I did buy this a few years ago. And the reason why I'm showing you this dress is because if you do find something that is really flattering to your body shape, that maybe is vintage and a classic kind of design, you can just keep wearing it with different things every year. So every year... I'll wear different accessories with it, different shoes, different boots, and then just kind of make it a little more to whatever kind of style I'm feeling in that season as well. I like this one for summer, and then I also wear it with, of course, leather jacket, tights, and boots for fall too. Another dress that I have had for quite some time, this is just your basic silky kind of lingerie looking slip dress. I bought this from a little boutique in Royal Oak, Michigan a few years ago. I love the length of it. It's that midi length. Uh, pretty much you could find this kind of dress at any op shop. I have been wearing this a lot for the last few years. Last year I was wearing it with like a big chunky belt around it and some boots. This year I have been wearing it a ton with the little mesh top underneath. It kind of makes it a little more trendy, a little more 90s looking as well. But the kind of thing with this dress is that you can dress it up or you can, you know, chuck a t-shirt underneath it and make it a little more casual as well. So speaking of more layering dresses, I have been living in this Noctex dress. Uh, it's a really nice wash and wear jersey, kind of stretchy fabric. It's not hugging in any area, it just kind of drapes and it's so comfy. It has a really nice flow to it when you walk as well. Uh, but it has these little tie ups on the top, so you can tie them on the top of your shoulders. You can tie it behind the back if you don't want the shoulders to be, the ties to be on top of your shoulders. You can also wear it as a halter neck as well. You can wear it crisscross. You can wear it back to front and have like that kind of little scoop neck detail going in if you had like a white or a mesh shirt underneath it. When we went to New Orleans at the beginning of summer, I wore this dress a lot. It was really comfy and flowy. Another dress kind of oversized and flowy, which I guess is a little bit of a theme in this video today. Uh, this is a Babbitton dress from Aritzia. Um, it is just a big baggy smock kind of t-shirt dress with a little bit of a V. I did wear it last night with a harness that kind of went up the middle and around the neck and that looked really cute. I wore it with some micro fishnets and some boots and then that big uh, trench jacket as well. This is the kind of thing that's perfect for going out to dinner. It's going to be perfect for work for me as well. And then I can also wear it with leggings in the fall to maybe pop like a long sleeve mesh layer top underneath it as well. And then transition that into a fall look too. So this line is a little more on the pricey side. I know that this kind of style dress is one that I've liked for many years. So it's the kind of fabric as well that will wash and wear really good. So I'll have it for many years to come. So for me, this is also an investment piece. This midi skirt I actually got from the beauty salon that I work at. We carry some clothing every now and then. And I just thought I had to have this. 
Uh, you won't be able to pick up this exact one because we're out of stock of it right now. Um, but I just wanted to show you that a midi skirt is a really good transitional classic piece to have in your wardrobe. You can wear it with a bodysuit, you can wear it with like a long sleeve semi sheer turtleneck and a belt as well. Uh, it is perfect for dinner and it's also perfect for a work outfit as well because it just there's something about that tight almost high-waisted midi length it just makes me feel very chic and sometimes businessy depending on what you're wearing it with but I just really when I wear it I just feel just good about myself so I know that midi lengths are pretty popular right now and I'm confident that you guys will be able to find something very similar to this too so these Deandre Moto pants are definitely great for all year round. They are a little more of a thick kind of fabric, but I have worn them on summer nights just with like a little cropped t-shirt and they're not too hot. I like them because they're a nice thick material so they pull you in at all the right places and they're super high waisted. So I don't really have any other pants that are quite like that. These are also another piece. I love this moto style i always have i have a few skirts like that as well and i just know that that's going to be something that i will keep for a long time too a few of the shoes that i have been showing i love these these are going to be probably a little more of a fall piece because they are velvet but i like that they have the lace up so they are a little bit see-through on the toes so Kind of a little bit of a transitional shoe. These are from Koi Footwear, which is a vegan shoe brand that have very affordable shoes, so make sure you check them out. Other ones from Koi, these I have been wearing so much to work. They are the comfiest platform. I love this loafer style. So the loafer makes it a little more professional looking and then the platform makes it more my style too. I have known about this brand for so long. We used to sell them at a store that I worked at and I did see them pop up on my Instagram and I was like, oh, Melissa, I know that they're all completely vegan shoes. They smell like bubble gum. Um, someone was telling me that that's because the plant that these are made out of actually smells like that as well which is kind of mind-blowing and awesome but I just thought that these ones were super cute and like a little bit different with that really square toe but still kind of summery too I probably wouldn't wear these on like a hundred degree day but maybe an 80 degree day because you know you don't want your shoes to melt some other things that I have accessory wise these bad boys from Valley Eyewear. A little more of a feminine shape. For glasses, I have something square when I'm wearing a little more of a casual outfit, but I feel like these ones are super girly and maybe like a little mod looking, so I love wearing these when I've got something girly on. And I do wear girly stuff mostly in the summer, dresses and stuff, and I have my prescription in these as well, so I can see things, which is awesome. Seeing things is awesome. One last thing that I did indulge in was these little Ranka rings. I've been seeing them for a long time on Instagram. Even my husband has purchased some before me. Uh, but finally, I was like, I'm just going to get these uh, just to wear with more with my like edgier nighttime wear. I just so I'm guessing by now you've kind of seen a theme for this lookbook. Most of the things that I have bought have been investment pieces. Uh, I know a few of you in the past have asked me to maybe add some cheaper pieces into my lookbooks, uh, but that is something that I am trying to steer away from. I'm definitely not perfect by any means. I'm not 100% done with fast fashion, but I just am trying to be more mindful about the things that I purchase. So that's why I have been purchasing things from indie brands or slow fashion brands such as Noctex and Hellvac as well. I did just order a piece from Sisters of the Black Moon. I have been trying to purchase from smaller indie brands and also brands that I have done a little bit of research on that I know aren't, you know, like child slave labor, like terrible uh, fast fashion, bad for the environment, just... I certainly don't judge anyone that 
can't afford to buy these kinds of pieces. I know that not every single person can afford to buy indie designers. So that kind of is why it took me so long to create this video for you. Basically, this lookbook isn't so that you can just quickly click a link and buy the same stuff as me. This is more of like an idea for ways to dress. I feel like that's also a conflict with me right now is that uh, I've always loved fashion and prior to Instagram, I was very kind of closed off of sharing where I got my fashion because I wanted to have a unique look. Um, and now that it's like an Instagram thing and everyone wants to know, where did you get this? Give me the link for that. It's almost like that instant gratification that someone posts something and you can click a link and have the shoes that an Instagrammer has in four days show up at your doorstep. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, you know, the, the best thing about fashion is hunting for the pieces yourself. Um, and then being unique and kind of trying to find that style, whether it be influenced by someone else or slightly influenced from a brand or a person or whatever. Um, certainly all of these pieces that I have are surely not things or trends that I thought of myself, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see where I'm coming from. So yes, I don't want to discourage anyone from buying fast fashion nor do I want to encourage anyone from buying fast fashion so that's why I don't have anything from you know Forever 21 or H&M or Zara in my lookbooks anymore but if you do love those styles you can find them super easily you know I was just talking about Poshmark if you download the Poshmark app you can find things from say Dolls Kill or Zara that are like a fraction of the price as well. You're saving yourself money, you're giving someone else who might need it money, uh, you're doing good for the environment by reusing instead of throwing shoes into a landfill. So if you download the Poshmark app, make sure you add me, Jessica Hayes, MUA. Anyways, I have been babbling on for a really long time. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this lookbook. I will also have a full lookbook coming up for you guys and I promise that one will be on time a little bit before fall so that it's a good time. Oh my gosh, I always say that in every video. Okay, bye guys.